I'm going to show a simpler way of exporting your video. Um, so I posted a export settings uh, tutorial recently, uh, which shows the very best export settings. It maxes out everything, puts a lot of pressure on your computer. And a lot of people were like, why am I spending 24 hours for this? And uh, that's fair. That's, a, that's a definitely a fair um, comment. So this one is going to be all about getting the best settings you can get without crushing your system. So with that, let's get started. Uh, first off, you want to make sure Movie Render Queue is enabled. Uh, to do that, go over to Edit, Plugins, uh, type in Movie Render Queue, uh, click on it. Uh, it'll say Restart Now in this little bottom right-hand corner. Uh, restart. When you come back, you'll have Movie Render Queue. Uh, clip, uh, click on the clapperboard. Uh, this will open up. And what you want to be in is Unsaved Config. And this is where we're going to make all our changes. So up in this little settings, so this little plus settings, click on that and go for anti-lazing, um, console variables, game overrides, and dot .exr. Dot .exr is going to be what you bring this into your editing software to create your um, video. Whereas JPEG is going to be kind of just the easy one to check whether or not it's editing or not editing, but exporting correctly. Um, next one is anti-aliasing. You can make this six and six for best results and do override anti-aliasing. Uh, this is basically going to mean, I think it means your video will go through 36 passes, uh, which is a good amount of passes and will catch most issues. So I like this a lot. Next one will be console variables. Go down to console variables right here. Click this little plus sign right here. And we're going to do R dot screen percentage and change this to 150. This means it's going to take your export uh, um, resolution, times it by 150, and then bring it down to 100. So basically, uh, say you're exporting at 4K, it'll kind of export your video at what, 5K, and then downsize it down to 4K, which just means it's going to look much crisper. And the last one is game overrides. Game overrides is already um, kind of set up the way you should bring it in, which basically means it is going to max out all of your settings. So your use LOD zero, that's going to help you with a lot of foliage pop, uh, cinematic quality settings are checked. So basically everything here is going to come out and make it as clean as possible and max out your settings as if you were kind of playing a video game on like, I don't know, ultra graphic settings. And then once all those changes are made, all we have to do is go over to output. Um, make sure you have the correct frame rate. Make sure you have the output resolution you're looking for. I do 256 and 1440. Um, and then pick your output directory. If you want to change the file name, change it there. And then just click accept. And with that, you should have a quick uh, and easy render, um, quick with an asterisk. It's not always quick, but it will be quicker than my last one. And it'll give you some really good results considering the time save. Uh, and with that, all you have to do is click render local and your render will start going. Uh, so hopefully this one helps you guys. Um, should be a lot easier and faster to use. So let me know what you think. Thank you, uh, like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.